I'm going to go over some examples, different examples of how to use the ticket generator as well as the eliminator. So let's start with a pick five, the early pick five at Del Mar yesterday on the 17th of August. I did hand select these particular races and the examples I'm going to show you, but they are all very realistic at the same time. All right. So we go pick five, 50 cents, We're going to play a $48 play. And this is what the ticket generator is giving us. One, two, four, five with two, four, five, six with singling the two horse, which was a lot of people single. And that was Stormy Liberal off the layoff for Peter Miller with two, five and seven and with seven, 12. Okay. Now, when I always talk about helping the system along, you don't want to overdo it. You want to have subtle changes to it. You can either use it the way it is, or even better is if you're right about a change, one or two changes that you make, then the better you are. So here's an example of what I would do. I happened to like a horse yesterday, happened to be the six horse paid informant, first time starter. I like the horse a lot, had a 29%. So top number, top number for a first time starter is really a special. Plus I knew the horse had tactical speed and the horse had a really good post position. So I had looked at the eight, the eight didn't show any particular speed. So I thought the six would be pretty clear on the outside, had a top number. So I was, I was loving paid informant yesterday. That actually is true. So what you would do, this is how I helped the system. Click on the toolbar, click on the X. I'm going to get rid of the five. I'm going to get rid of the four. I'm going to get rid of the two. And now I'm going to lock the race, which means that the system cannot use any other horse but the six. I'm singling it. Now watch what happens when we regenerate. A $48 ticket now hits the pick five. I believe it paid $600. I'm pretty sure it was $600 and change, maybe $700. Just from that one change of singling the six horse paid informant. So that's an example of how you can utilize the ticket generator. Another example that I had found for yesterday was at Arlington Park, race number three. So when you're playing a vertical bet or even a horizontal bet for that matter, I already sorted these horses, but let's just put them back. Okay. This horse is going to win 2% of the time. He's six to one in the morning line. So this is a perfect example on how to leave out horses like this and what an advantage it is to see this ahead of time. So what we'll do is and you can see he went, ended up getting off at 17 to 1. We'll play a 50 cent. We'll play, let's just say, uh, how about $8? Not many horses in the race. We'll do a $8 trifecta. So it's using the 6 and the 7 with 5, 6, and 7. So it's only using three horses in the second leg with a 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. But I don't like the 1. I don't think the 1's going to be anywhere. Not getting bet. 2% win. Now, the win percentage is only looking for the best possible chance of a horse winning. Not being in the money. That's what it's looking for. So a horse like this can definitely be second or third because the system is just saying, the win percentage system is saying he has a 2% chance of winning, not being in the money. But that being said, just as an example, watch what we can do here. Just something subtle. Click on the toolbar, click on the X and say, I don't think this horse will be first, second or third. We're going to eliminate it from using this horse in the third spot and we're going to regenerate it. Now watch what it's going to do. It's going to take the one out and watch how it adds more horses here in the second spot. So it was subtle. You didn't even see that, did you? It added the three and the four. And then it took away horses here in the third spot. And it used six, seven with three, four, five, six, seven with four, five, and seven. And that trifecta did hit. I don't know what it paid, but I, I'm pretty sure it did hit. So that's an example, just subtle differences that you can make. And I've got some notes in my phone. There were other examples I wanted to give you. Um, Okay, so I had a new subscriber say to me, Scotty, over at Del Mar, how did this long shot win in race number seven, Acclimate? My answer to him, he said it only had a 6% number. Well, I mean, these types of horses do win a certain percentage of the time. A couple of things. One, 80% of the horses that win a race are underlays. So you could have seen that the horse is getting bet, but that's obviously not the only thing. But when you look at the past performances, I mean, this horse has shown, especially when he can clear, and that's exactly what Ferran Giro did, cleared with Acclimate. And it's not like there's any horses that are 40%, 45%, 50%, right? So 6%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 
horse got an easy lead and uh, the rest was history. So that can happen. Another question that John had for me was in race number 11. He said, how in the world does a horse that is the 14 Super Patriot win at 7%? This one was easy for me. The top number was 18%. So you can choose, this, this is a good thing because the system is telling us the race is very competitive. So what we're hoping for is to spread in this race and hopefully catch a long shot. The worst thing that can happen, unfortunately, but it happens in horse racing is we spread and of course the favorite wins. And, uh, but you can see the top number at 18% wasn't getting bet, was an overlay. So now this race is becoming even tougher to me. And so when you look at the top number not getting bet, you look at a 7% in comparison to a 16%, I mean, even this top number, 16% second top number wasn't getting bet, right? The, the Scotty Picks didn't agree. I think the 11 horse and Eddie's surprise ended up getting second. So the point is, when you've got a top win percentage at 18%, is it really a big surprise if a 7% horse wins? No, so for me, it's either a no play race or it's a spread out in the exotics. I hope that helps.